two goats and and one lamb. I don't I don't think we understand totally um, the importance of the New Testament because we don't have a quite a good instruction or a good understanding of the Old Testament. The New Testament only fulfills what was foreshadowed in the Old Testament. And out of all the scriptures and all the books of the New Testament, the Old Testament will always point you towards one purpose and one point in the life of the believer. The Old Testament will always point you to Jesus. In, in spite of the sacrifices, in, in spite of how messed up the Israelite may have been, in spite of some of the ingest leaders that led Israel, everything that you see from Genesis to Malachi is a foreshadowing of Jesus Christ himself. When we look at the first time that something died because man messed up, what you will find is you find two people in a garden that hid themselves and made themselves aprons out of fig leaves. But when God exposed the fact to them that you messed up because of deception, you messed up because of cunningness, you messed up because of manipulation, God now has to kill something and make for them sheepskin. What I'm trying to get you to understand is when there is a gap between God and between man, something has to die that protein blood so that God sees the blood, but he don't see the sin. I, I think it's really important because when we understand that, then we are not so easily moved by folk that, that want to do sacramental things or ritual things or traditional things because we understand that those things don't bring us closer to God, but it is only by blood that I can get close to God. Believe it or not, preaching will not get me closer to God. Teaching will not get me closer to God. Me coming every Sunday and Wednesday and whatever other things the church has going on does not get me closer to God. I can only get close to God when there is a bridge for me to get to God. And the bridge is not me coming to serve it. The bridge is the blood of Jesus. Now what we have when we start looking at the book of beginnings, you have the beginning of sin, you have the beginning of a gap between man and God. And now when we begin to find out who God is and who God uses and how God uses them, what we find out is God always uses a man or a woman to instruct them that if you're gonna bridge the gap between you and God, you're gonna have to understand sacrifices. And where there is, wherever there is a sacrifice, it is a place of hurting, it is a place of blood, but most of all, it is a place of death. Something has to die. Something has to be sacrificed, but it can't just be anything. The something that has to die has to be something that didn't mess up with God, something that, that did not sin. In other words, when you look at the Old Testament, you find out that every sacrifice was a sacrifice that was, had no blemish, had no sin, had no faults, but it was a perfect sacrifice. And they could not have been man because man is forever messed up because Paul said that evil is forever with man. Can I tell you that all of us, as the Bible said, have sinned and we come short. So there's no way in the world that man and mankind could ever be a sacrifice for himself. So now God, God, God establishes with man that listen, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna allow you to always get back in my good grace and what I, what's gonna end up happening is when you end up seeing what the tabernacle is made out of, you end up seeing that they can only get so close to God. There were only certain folk that were allowed behind the veil, but, but can I tell you something? There were things that was going on outside of the veil that God says, you know what? I'm so holy that I can't deal with folk men, but but I'll always be in their presence. I won't be a partaker of their sin, but I'll always be there to be the righteous one to bring them back to me. And he uses a man 
by the name of Aaron. He anoints Aaron's family to be the priest, to be the spokesman, to come into the presence behind the veil because the outer court was contaminated. The outer court was polluted because God is so holy. He said, I'm only let you get so close to me with your polluted self, with, with your self-righteous self, with your religious I'm only let you get so close, but I'm going to have one person to come into my presence that understand how holy I am, how righteous I am, and all you have to do is stay on the outer court because when he gets in my presence, he's going to make an atonement just for you. Yeah.